Number 18. The initial concentrations or pressures of reactants and products are given for each of the following systems. And then we just have to calculate the reaction quotient and determine the direction in which each system will proceed to reach equilibrium. All right, so we have a number or letter C. We have an equation here, and I see that we have coefficients. So I'm going to assume that this is balanced. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write this equation out. So we got two SO3s, and that's a gas. This will come to equilibrium with two SO2s, gas plus O2, and that's a gas. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just write out the initial concentrations that they gave me. They all seem like they're two molarity, right? So SO3 was two molarity, 2.00 molarity. The SO2 was also two molarity. And then the O2 was two molarity. So basically, what the question is asking for is, from these initial amounts, which direction are we going to go? Are we going to go from reactant to product? Are we going to go to the forward reactant reaction? Or are we going to go backwards? Well, that all depends on the Q, the reaction quotient. We figured how to make an expression like that, right? It's this one over here. It's concentration of products divided by reactants, and then we just always raise it by their coefficients. So, Let's start it out, right? QC equals. Now, before you even write your QC formula, just remember, got to play the game. Aqueous and gases are only allowed. So just check those states. But it seems like we're good. These look like they're all gases. So all of these are going to be included in the QC. Products divided by reactants. Since we're talking about concentrations, I am going to put brackets. Let's do SO2 first. So I got SO2, I'm going to close that bracket up, and there was a 2 in front of here. That's the coefficient, so I have to square the SO2 value. Then comes the O2. Remember, with this formula, they're being multiplied by each other, not added, okay? So the O2 comes next, I close the bracket, but now for O2... I don't see a coefficient. Remember, that means that you only have one of them. So you can raise this to the first, but you don't have to. Anything raised to the first is itself. And then coming down to the bottom, I have SO3. Close that bracket. I do see that there's a 2 here, so i got to raise it to the second. Now let's plug in those numbers. QC equals, let's see. Let's start from the top. The SO2, well, they were all 2s, right? So 2.00, that's being squared, times 2.00, that's the O2, and then divided by 2.00, and that's also squared. Now we could just do a quick little uh, simplification here, right? The 2 squared and the 2 squared, you could just cancel these out, right? Because technically they're the same on the top and the bottom. So the QC would just be 2.00. So that's fun. There you go. Perfect. So we finished the first part. Now we just have to find out what is the direction. Are we going to do the forward reaction or the reverse? Well, that comes from comparing the Q value with the KC value. Now, there's a trick, guys. If you want to use the trick, put the Q value on the right-hand side and the K value on the left-hand side. The Q that we just found out was 2.00, and the K was 0 0.230. Now, remember what we said about K values back in a couple of questions, right? We said that anything less than 1 meant that you should have more reactants than products. Since the Q value is larger than where we should be, we have more products than we should. At the end of the day, at equilibrium, we should have more of these. So which direction do you think we should go? Should we go this way? Or should we go this way? 
yeah, we should go this way, right? Because we want to get, this is the standard value. We want to get to having more reactants. Now, you could also do it this way. QC is less than, KC is less than the QC, right? This number is less than this number, right? And here's the trick. You see this? Treat this as an arrowhead. Pull it back. And look, you just made an arrow. So now it's the reverse. So you're going to shift or proceed to the left, whichever one you want to say. Shift, proceed, I don't really care. But you're basically doing the reverse reaction. So there is the direction. Determine the direction. You're going to do the reverse reaction or go to the left. I also wrote down what these mean in, you know, just for wording so that you can write this down if you want to. But we're right here. Just like we said before, if the K is less than the Q, you have way more products than you need. So get rid of them. Go to the other side. And there you go. Hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. And I'm looking forward to helping you with new questions. All right, let's keep up with the equilibrium stuff. Equilibrium is pretty fun. What do you think? All right. Uh, I'll talk to you later. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.